Thank you. Uh, konnichiwa. Um, the, uh, it's, it's quite an interesting sort of uh, time for us because, uh, yeah, um, you know, we're now, now here, we're now living in Bermuda. It's, um, you know, it's been quite a, a, quite a fast change and, uh, and something which has been you know, incredibly exciting. Um, SoftBank Team Japan is a brand new team to the America's Cup. It's, uh, Japan's got a rich history in America's Cup sailing dating back into the uh, in, well, sort of late 90s. The final time that Japan had an entry in the, uh, the Louis Vuitton series was back in 2000 uh, in Auckland. Um, and so, you know, that 15 years since, it's, um, it's sort of been a little bit of a, a distant sort of uh, memory for them. So, you know, one of the, the big challenges for us is to, um, to sort of re rebuild that sort of um, brand, the image, back in, um, in the Japanese market. And uh, with SoftBank and the support of them, it's a, it's a huge company in Japan. They, you know, they're very, very passionate about this team. Um, they've been to the first two World Series events. Uh, they've seen the, uh, you know, I guess, the excitement, the, uh, the, the thrill of the racing that we, uh, we, we get, um, how much it engages the, the, the public, you know, what a great sort of um, uh, TV sort of product that we now have. And I think uh, what we're going to see is a huge amount of interest um, within the Japanese community. And that, you know, again, I think will, uh, will be fantastic as more and more people come and uh, experience Bermuda. Um, in terms of where, uh, where our team's at, well, we, we're starting very late in this cycle. And uh, although the, the cup is still, you know, over, uh, well, it's about two years away, a little bit less than two years away, it's, um, we, we have to sort of build up from, you know, pretty much uh, a zero base. And so uh, I think it was May when I was, um, I was first here, sort of uh, is trying to develop the, the, the um, beginning of the, yeah, the team with um, uh, Fuku. Uh, who's, uh, who, who was the first member of the team. He's on board as the general manager. Um, so we yeah, were uh, in meetings here with, um, with ACEA, ACBDA, and, uh, um, and just sort of how the team would come together. And so very quickly we've got now a, a number of people in place. Uh, we've got uh, four, sorry, five uh, families now relocated here in Bermuda. Um, we've got a couple more that arrive at the beginning of October. And then uh, during the, the rest of this year, we'll be uh, bringing a few more people in you know, little by little. And then for us, uh, January is sort of the, the big month where we full, you know, basically are fully operational here in Bermuda. Uh, we'll have probably 35 to 40 uh, team members here, sort of fully relocated, um, including all the families and everything else. And that's sort of uh, obviously a lot of work to, to get to that point. but. It's also uh, you know, very exciting and, and it's been a, a great experience to date. You know, we've had fantastic support as, a, um, as a, a new team from both ACEA and ACBDA in terms of the, the logistics, uh, trying to get things up and running in a, uh, in a, a short time frame. And it's sort of made the experience for, for me personally and for the other guys involved in the team you know, something that's uh, a lot more streamlined than I think you could ever expect anywhere else that I've been. Um, in, uh, in sort of parallel with uh, the, the people and families relocating here, we've also got um, a sort of a, a fairly you know, large construction sort of uh, process which is now underway. We've got a very strong commitment to, um, to use uh, Bermudian uh, workforce um, wherever possible in, in the construction of our base, um, all the contractors and things, so that we can get you know, up and running um, you know, using the you know, the, the skills and things which exist on the island. So, you know, we've, we've got a commitment to that. Also, we, you know, we have a strong commitment to, uh, to um, where possible, to have uh, Bermudian um, uh, people working in our team uh, to, you know, help sort of help us get set up, to understand the, the ins and outs and to, um, to make us, you know, uh, you know something we, where we can sort of blend into the, uh, the community as best we possibly can. Um, from a personal standpoint, the, um, you know, when, you know, when you, you sort of get asked, um, you know, how would it be to go and uh, set up a um, base in, in Bermuda for a couple of years, um, bring the family and, and everything else? Well, having been here um, a number of times um, in the past for the, the Bermuda Gold Cup event and the match racing, um, 
sort of having had a, a brief experience, more so of Hamilton, the Hamilton Harbour and um, the airport, but uh, yeah, not, not really having seen uh, you know, what the, the island really has to offer. It wasn't really a tough sell to, um, to, you know, to convince me, but the thing which has been great is um, the way that the family um, have, have got here and have really embraced the experience. Um, I've, got, uh, I've got four children, uh, between five and ten. They, um, they arrived here, they had about three or four weeks before uh, school started, so they thought it was one, one big holiday. But, uh, but um, yeah, they're, they're in school now and uh, they're having an absolute uh, fantastic time. I think, you know, it, like, like everyone that, that's been here um, for the first time, the welcome is just incredibly friendly. Um, I think uh, the way that the people are sort of, I think, w embracing the America's Cup, the, you know, um, without actually having seen any of the, the action yet firsthand, but uh, embracing the people that are coming here, the different teams, it certainly makes the experience that much better. And uh, you know, I really thank you know, thank everyone for making you know making us feel welcome here. So really, uh, you know, I think. Bermuda's in for a real, uh, real treat when they get to see the America's Cup World Series here um, for the first time in October. Um, I know that you know you're, you're going to obviously be given a lot more information on what um, what's at stake there, but uh, yeah, I can assure you you won't be disappointed when you see the boats out there racing. You know the competition is fierce, but the uh, the camaraderie and I think um, the environment that Bermuda is going to provide is going to be something you know second to none. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to, uh, to call Bermuda home for the next couple of years and I hope for uh, a few more after that. So thank you again for the welcome. I, I want to let you into a little bit of a secret here. Uh, last time any of you were here, you met Jimmy Spittle. And tonight you met Dean Barker and they come across as these wonderful, gentle, kind, quiet-spoken people. Get the America's Cup app. That puts you on their boats when they're sailing. And I can tell you if there's ever a Jekyll and Hyde, it's the Dean Barker that you just saw and the Dean Barker at the helm of his boat. 